Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Rim World. I said I was gonna keep a shorter backlog, so far so good. In fact, to prove that, let me go here. I got YouTube open, Rim World Alpha episode 18. Let's look at some of these top hey comments. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Rim World. This is the And see if we can implement them live on the fly. Please tell me he fixes the fucking power grid. Done. Dan Giesling, this is an egg dream, this is an egg dream. Seems fairly irrelevant. Triple digits on that real save, I admire your optimism. Like, this is good that it's, you know, largely positive here. Each animal pet has a filth rating, that's how much the animal makes things dirty when they are. It's good to keep filthier animals away from the day-to-day -day colonists, especially out of the bedrooms. This is done by creating an animal zone and assigning the animal to the zone in the animal tab. Okay. This is done by creating an animal zone and assigning the animal to the zone in the animal tab. This is done by creating an animal zone, which should be in here. No, it's not in the zones menu. All is lost. Wasn't it? It was actually up here for a sec. That was like the restrict tab, manage areas. Oh, there you go. New animal area. Uh, so it's not an animal area. It's an animal. Or it's not an animal zone, it's an animal area. Animal area 2. And then animals. Manage areas. Oh, God. Do I even have animals remaining in here? I may not, actually. Now that I think about it. You know what? Let's get started. That's... <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men. Problems due to my lack of knowledge of the user interface here. I don't think we have animals left. We actually, like, all of our animals are dead, right? Which is not, like, I'm not bragging. It's a bad thing, but still. Okay, so, let's see what we can do here. Uh, the psychic drone is a bummer. The solar flare is over, I think. Um, the wind turbine is fixed. The psychic drone is not over, though, I think. Let's go check, uh, Zebo. The nameless Zebo. Medium psychic drone. Okay, that's no joke. Tattered apparel. People also told me that clothing is something that I really need to work on. It's It makes a lot more sense for us to uh, put people in better clothing and like with better guns as well. Even if it's better condition, lower quality, if that makes sense. I actually think I should move our turret just so it has less of a blind spot associated with it. I almost feel like, you know, maybe putting a second turret here is fairly sensible. It doesn't get as much coverage and yeah, you know what, actually, okay, let's just move it out like like this. And we'll have to build conduits to it, but that's okay. I, I know, by the way, people have mentioned that this kill box sucks. That's absolutely fair. Um, this kill box does not exist. Major break risk on Zebo. Ugly environment, in a little pain. It shouldn't be that ugly, though. By the way, we are almost through the winter here, and considering the, the state at which we entered the winter, I'm a little surprised at how easily this has gone. It allows you to build a brewery to transform hops into tasty, tasty beer. Um, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. People are eating with a table, which is good. We've had a lot of eating without a table debuffs. It's only 9 a.m. It's possible not everybody's eaten yet. But um, I always, like, the meal is too far away from the table for some people, I guess, to, to be appropriate. I don't know. What about medicine production? Produce medicine from herbal medicine, neutro neutroamine, and cloth. I guess that's bandages. That makes sense. Sure, that, that seems like something that should be uh, useful for us for the future. We got 27 simple meals. So we're going to get to 30 pretty easily. And actually, we're, we're harvesting our potatoes very efficiently right now. Our uh, next battery battery has gone up. You can call it like a battery of batteries, right? Buffalo, 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 but you get the idea. Did we lose our milk? We did not lose our milk. We need to come up with a... Um, basically with something to do. Because we're actually in an amazing situation right now. And, and I mean that sincerely. Like we are... We're sorted. We're working towards research. It's taken a while. Uh, I, I do hate that Austin has like a zero 
in research, and this is his number one priority right now, but that's why I gave him a four. Oh, I gave him a three, actually. Oh, he's got an eight. That's not that bad. I'm, I'm not sweating it then. Um, we could put a table in here. We, we probably need to make another building and actually use this building for the production things that I have not built in a while. Like, we have stonecutter's table, sculptor's table, and simple research bench. We have no tailoring area, and we, we don't have a lot of cloth. We have some leather. Um, so we should, uh, go to production. Yeah, we don't have a, a, a tailoring bench of any kind. Fermenting barrel. A barrel for fermenting raw wort into beer. Let me look at the grow zone, because they've, they've changed the way that, uh, brewing works, I think. So we make a growing zone. Do you grow hops? Thought maybe you grew wort? Does it have two ingredients now? Is that what's going on here? I might need to wait for a comment on that one. Which I think is relatively fair. What is wart? I mean, I, I've heard of it before. I thought it was like a yeast-based starter. And I'm not talking about Pokemon here. Um, hopper. Well, you can make a nutrient paste dispenser, but I don't really want to. Brewery. Let me look at the information on the brewery. All the equipment needed to brew beer. Is there any reason not to put this in the uh, in the freezer? That seems like fairly sensible because hops will be here to begin with. I think anything to do with food should be in the freezer, as long as people are wearing a coat. Whatever. We're we're gonna want it, so let's get it set up. One twenty wood and some steel. Timberwolf self tamed. Okay, this is actually great. First off, injured, annoying, but now we can assign our Timberwolf to allowed area one. But I don't know actually, but it's the first step on knowing. How the heck do we actually change the zone that is effective and efficient here, you know? Like, one second, let me find the base. It's down here. How do I paint the screen with animal area one? I thought it would be just in zones, maybe, but apparently not. But whatever, it's in Animal Zone 1 now. Now all we need to do is actually figure out how to modify at all Animal Zone 1. Uh, we might not have enough wood to actually produce this... Um, to actually produce this building. Let's see if we can get some wood down here. How's our meat situation? I mean, we could just, you know, stay vegetarian. We've got 600 potatoes. I don't think that's bad. Um, sure, let's let's issue a quick uh, work order here. Wow, none of these trees are ready to go. That sucks. Okay, uh, well, we'll issue a work order out here. Unfor we already had a work order out here as well, but unfortunately we need, we need wood, basically. Um, we might as well have somebody plant cut at, like, a level 2. Our only plant cutters are also our only, uh... Our only, uh, haulers and cleaners, unfortunately. So we'll do that, and also, um... I was trying to think. I thought I had something else that I wanted to put on the go quickly. Oh, you know what? We might as well set up a couple more growing zones. We have enough colonists to probably handle them. It makes sense to put one inside, I guess, but I kind of feel like we should have a, a set it and forget it sort of grow zone. Um, let me find zones, growing zone, and we'll just do like an 8x8 growing zone here. I don't know if 8x8 is enough, but and just make it uh, like oak trees. Slow going, but the wood is very strong. That seems reasonably sensible to me. And then it, it'll take a while for us to get wood here, ha 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 ha. But once we get wood, ha ha, okay, I'm gonna stop being 10 years old. Uh, once we get wood, it's gonna be awesome for us because, uh, you know, we'll have a, a renewable supply of it here. And it makes sense for me to plant these in the winter, even if they won't grow. Oh, Austin's idle. Even if they won't grow, at least they'll, uh, they'll be planted now, and then when we're busy with other growing zones in the summer, or in the, the spring, should be fine. Our heel roots go in here. Um, Austin is idle. Austin needs something else to do. I don't want to mine this gold, because I worry about it increasing our wealth too much. We can always just do the, the standard, like, mining here. 
And that should that should keep him going for a couple days. Alright, so we're gonna chop no, we're not gonna chop some wood, we're gonna do some hauling, that's okay as well. I don't know what we're gonna do up here. Like this whole area needs to be refactored. Like build the wall out maybe like diagonally here and then have our kill box here outside of our base. That's a little bit more of a long-term project. I'm okay with it, but it's uh, it's not remarkably urgent. I will say, you know, a good sign that the colony is going relatively well is just the research is actually getting done. That is something that, like, it's always a bad sign when you have, like, five episodes of RimWorld with the same research project on the go. We have so much more space for power. Like, we or we have so much more capacity. I have to apologize, my commentary's been a little disjointed. I had, like, the weirdest sleep last night. I, I slept for, like, oh, oh, no. This is, I was just about to launch into a tangent. And then you tell me we've got a siege coming? We're gonna be under siege, like Steven Seagal? Well, we might as well save, and then, um, this is real save, 008, siege. Did I give Zebo a weapon? Hell yeah. I'm smarter than I look. Okay. Everybody wake up. Here's the pods. There's five of them. None of them have shields. Equipped with a shoddy sniper rifle. Bad, oh, awful sniper rifle. Incendiary launcher that's awful. Molotovs. Pump shotgun that's shoddy. Presumably these guys are coming over here to set up, uh, to set up shop. If possible. Yeah, here they go. If possible, I'd like to wait for all of our units to wake up. Which should be happening like any minute now. And then we'll go down there. They shouldn't be able to get their artillery built. But actually, now that I look at it, I'm not going to take a chance on that. So we're going to draft everybody. And just bring them down here. Okay, so combat is gonna begin now. Let me just throw- oh man, there's so much steel here. Let me remind myself of my- my colonists. Mathis is okay at shooting. I'm bad at it. Austin's amazing. Bear Taffy's pretty great. Quill's bad. Zebo's okay. So, Austin and Bear Taffy have to have the angles here. They have to have line of sight. Zebo, you can kind of like... I mean, these count as cover, if I remember, so... I'm not too bummed out about this. Austin's already landing shots here. Dude, why do I have Bear Taffy with a pistol? Like, that's idiotic of me. We just have to watch out for the units that have Molotovs. And there's one right there. Wake up. Shoddy pump shotgun. Meals. Luciferium. And two beers. He, he had a lot on his person at the, at the, the moment of death here. Um... No, we shouldn't have too many units stack up this close together. That's that's worrying. What do you have? Incendiary launcher. I just want to not keep everybody in Molotov range, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Maybe like this is fine? We're doing... Oh, okay, Mattis, you gotta fall back. The Molotovs bust off as soon as they... No, they, I was going to say the Molotovs bust off as soon as they land, but they don't. That's the incendiary launcher. Okay, Bear is no longer on fire. If possible, go hide. In fact, you might just want to go back to base. Oh. Sieging pirates are assaulting the colony? What are you talking about? They're not doing anything. They're screwed. Look at how much wealth we're going to gain from this. Which is actually probably a bad thing. That's a, I, don't, I have no problem Zebo got hit. That's amazing. I've got no problem, by the way, just letting Austin handle this. Um, who's our worst shooter? I think it was me, right? No, it's Quill. Alright, Quill, rescue Zebo. Like, you're undrafted, but go rescue him. And then Bear Taffy, equip this sniper rifle. And then take Zebo's spot. I want Bear behind cover. Oh! Well, I mean, what can I say? It's not like I didn't expect it to happen. I said I want Bear behind cover. I was just going to wait for Zebo to 
get moved and then put him behind cover. And uh, clearly that was a little bit of a, a, a f bad way to prioritize things. Let's, you know, be honest here. The psychic drone is ending. I mean, that's a good start. You know what, Austin? Just back up and take these shots. I can't believe that's going to land. It didn't, but it was close. Okay, they're fleeing. I'm pissed, but they're fleeing. You're undrafted. Um, honestly, the fire may just burn Bear Taffy, or burn Bear Taffy's body. Which is a bummer, because there's, like, there's wealth there. And I feel bad that we lost Bear. Um, because there was really no reason to. But which one was Bear Taffy's room? Also, what did Bear Taffy do? Yeah, he was, uh... He was a hauler and a cleaner. Dang it! I mean, I, you know, pretty much my own fault, 100%. Should have had him behind cover, should have been a little bit more patient. <sighs> Life goes on. Still, five colonists. And we have graves, but we want we want prisons, basically. Zebo, Austin, bedroom, <laughs> Mathis and L Quill, bedroom. Alright. This is a bedroom for a prisoner now. This is a bedroom for a prisoner now. Mathis did not get injured, which is good because I can have him harvest this heal root. So just don't walk through the fire to make this happen. And I'll be happy. Mathis, what are you going to do? Cons consuming simple meal? Does this seem like the right time for that? I'm just going to tell... Oh my god, there's actually... There's more alive. Well, there go all of our guns. Major break risk on Quill. Urgently hungry. Witnessed allies death. Just eat. There's a meal right there. We got food. Food's not a problem for us. Only Zebo is hurt, which I think is good. We don't have any medicine, which is really bad. Um, I was definitely going to have Quill just murder this dude. I may still. There's no place to put him, is the issue here. Um, I think if he dies without us capturing him, though, it's not a problem. He just, you know, they treat it as like, well, that's what you get, asshole. Um, let's see what we got here. So Lowell is 94%, so he's just going to get released no matter what. We could harvest his organs, but we need medicine first. 78% um, with a 15 in medicine and a 14 in research. Honestly, I don't think you're worth holding. Um, just because you're going to be hard to get. Mad animal. A local squirrel has gone mad. Honestly, this squirrel is fucked. I was going to say, there you go. The turrets are just going to destroy it. Um, and we should haul that back to the base. Hopefully. But, um, yeah, that I, I don't really want to deal with either of these guys. And I think that's fine. You know, we, we can afford to be picky about the colonists that we have. And actually, now that we've released this guy... Quill is going to go prey. But let's capture the other dude. Really, the other guy's just being captured. Um, so that we don't risk a mood debuff. But I'm pretty sure we won't get a mood debuff either way. Oh, we also got some medicine. I have no problem giving that to Zebo. Um, I do wish I was going to say somebody would feed Zebo. Oh. Somebody died. While Quill was holding them. So that's not good. Um, we have graves, but we should worry, not worry, but like go through the electric cremation, right? No, okay, fine. If you're going to bury it, then just bury it. That doesn't bother me, but slightly annoyed. One major break risk. It's on Quill. Quill's been going through some stuff. This seems fair to me. All right. Uh, not, not an ideal start, I would say, to this episode. We've already lost somebody, but you know, Zebo outlived people. He outlived Bear Taffy, so let's see. He's good at growing. He's good at construction, he's good at cooking. He's a jack of all trades, he's just a regular old Dexter Morgan. That was an easy siege, by the way. Um, who in our group... You know what, we haven't had a Michael A.L. Fox yet. And I think this is fair. To, to, make, uh, to make Malf Zebo. First off, Michael A.L. Fox kind of looks like Zemo from Captain America's Civil War. 
And then this guy's name is Zebo, so the connection already exists there. Oh, we should, by the way, look at this guy's. Uh, somewhat easy to recruit. Wait, we already... Oh, okay, this is the same dude. Why is he not released yet? He, he should be now that he can walk, right? For butchering dead squirrel. This is fine. Winter ends in three days, so we've made it, effectively. As long as our stuff doesn't spoil. We've got 600 potatoes in storage, and, and we get more on a, a very regular basis. Research is being done into how to convert shitty medicine into good medicine. Uh, and real... Excuse me. Real save 009. The siege has survived. Okay, and that was not a save scum. I mean, I left the potential for a save scum to happen there. But really, the, the colony is just functioning beautifully. You know, we've got almost eight fully charged batteries. They're connected to two different grids. I don't know if, if the electricity in RimWorld works like this, but my hope is that, you know, this separate battery room means that if a conduit blows up here, for example, it'll only pull the power out of these batteries, but I don't know if that's true. I don't know if there's like an electrical break. So two times minor break risk is actually incredible. That means that we have nobody at a major break risk. And honestly, their moods are not that bad. Malf, he must have lost an organ. Right leg shot off. Okay, well we don't... <laughs> I don't think we have medicine right now, even though I just saw us take some. I think we used it for Zebo. so... Alright, we'll give you a... Um, no, no herbal medicine. Alright, so you're just gonna sit there, Malf. Oh, man, I didn't even realize how perfect the name was until just now. Um... Yeah, you're just gonna sit there until we can get some herbal medicine. Our prisoner has been released. I wanna see what Mathis is doing. I want him to plant... trees. But he won't plant trees. Maybe because it's not the growing season? Which I could understand, although I would disagree with. So hauling potatoes is fine. Like, I'm, I'm not really mad about that. We probably should maybe harvest a little of this heel root. I know it takes forever to grow, so to harvest it before it's fully ready is annoying. Uh, and and suboptimal to a, a large degree, but I, I'd also like to have our, our fifth colonist actually be able to move. Um, so, cut this heel root. Darling, don't you go and cut your heel root. Do you think it's gonna make him change? Okay, but... Uh, install peg leg, right leg. Sweet. We still haven't built the brewery, um, and that's because, well, I mean, first off, I'm not too, I'm not sweating too much because we don't have any hops, but, um, we need more wood. Hopefully this works. I think we only brought one dose of medicine in here. We really need mouth because he's also one of the few cleaners. One of the two cleaners, really. Mathis has failed catastrophically while operating on Malf. Lovely. So you're still missing a right leg, but now he's just, like, super jacked up. <sighs> well, I mean, it's not an exact sign. You know what they say about medicine? It's not an exact science. All right, you know what? Consume a simple meal. And what's your what's your medicine stat at, Dr. Mathis? 11? You're really bumming me out here, dude. Um, no, I'd like you to... You know what? Clean the blood, but then also give him a leg. That's not that bad. He's gonna be in a lot of pain, but... Life goes on. Alright, let's do this. Bring Mouth back from the dead, Mathis. I believe in you. Go get some wood. You're gonna be tired. You probably shouldn't be doing surgery on, uh, you know, zero hours of sleep, but... What was... What did Dr. Ben Carson think when he separated those conjoined twins? He wasn't thinking, oh, I didn't need enough, you know, my macronutrient profile's all messed up. He just got the job done. Alright, so his... Mouth should be convalescing now. Mathis should also clean the blood off of his own floor. And we're gonna make these rooms for non-prisoners again. We need to make, uh, we need to make more prisoner rooms. 
We, we can always micromanage them, but I'd rather not in most situations, I think. Um, can we make out of stone an electric tailoring bench? No, it's, it's always going to use some wood. Okay, Malf's no longer incapable of walking. He's going to be pissed, though. Yeah, he's unhappy. In a moderate amount of pain. That's not that bad. And <laughs> he was rebuffed by Bear Taffy, and then Bear Taffy subsequently died. So, I mean, there's some problems associated with this. But we'll give him a gun. While he has a major break risk. Smart idea. And things are things are going. The siege did mess us up, but it didn't mess us up beyond repair, I think. Um, and really, you know, losing one colonist, life goes on. What is Quill doing? Stone cutting? I mean, this is good. If we got nothing else for Quill to do, stone cutting is, is smart. Malf is fully, like, good to go now, and he's actually cooking. Uh, I should be going to bed. I'm already in bed. Mathis, when he wakes up, um, this stuff's not quite ready to harvest. Actually, it's got a long way to go. Some of it's got a long way to go. But now that we have medicine, I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, yes. We, where did that fox come from? I don't really care, I guess, as long as we get benefits out of it, but we need this wood. Nobody's really prioritizing planting the, or no one's prioritizing cutting the wood that I told them to cut, so that's, that's really the bad place for us to be at right now, but maybe I just need to repro reprioritize it. I, w I would say definitely I need to reprioritize it, but um, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. New episodes come out every single day at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And again, keeping a smaller backlog. Probably record one more episode today. Look at the tips and then, uh, you know, implement the tips. But again, for now, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all your support and your, your helpful advice. And I'll see you next time.